We live in a charmed time. Born too late to explore the Earth and too soon to explore the stars, we must play the hand we've been dealt and explore the depths of the human mind through the power of sound. Synthesizers allow us to do this, building an entire sonic universe from the vibrations of the air around us. But what if you don't want to do this when you're cooped up in a studio? In this video, I'll show you how to break free. Since the dawn of man, we've had a drive. A drive to explore the unknown. To go where no man has gone before. Somewhere treacherous or inhospitable. To see what's over that mountain or beyond that river. The artistic imperative that drives our love of modular synthesizers is no different. We want to patch and change signal paths and make combinations of sounds and modules that nobody has done before. And to do that type of sonic exploration in a studio is one thing, but to take our Eurorack modular synthesizers in hand and explore the great outdoors, well, that's something entirely different. Since my first humble Eurorack system, I've dreamed of bringing my synthesizer outdoors to explore a new environment, to get outside of the box, literally. And the latest thing that I've been doing is bringing it into the wild using a mobile battery pack. The trick is selecting a mobile battery pack that meets the needs of the synthesizer or synthesizers that you want to use it with, and you can figure out how to match the right battery pack with your setup by doing some quick and easy calculations. In my case, I picked up this Halo Bolt for about 100 bucks. Most of the reviews were pretty good, so I decided to give it a shot, and the results have been great. I've done two sessions in the outdoors with this powering an 87 HP Eurorack Nifty case for around 30 minutes each, and it's performed like a charm. In both of these cases, the temperature was below freezing, which sometimes can affect the efficiency of a lithium ion battery, but nevertheless, this baby performed. In order to figure out which battery pack is right for you, you'll have to calculate a couple quick things. Now we don't need to break out the electronics textbook to figure out the power consumption of our synthesizer in watts. Watts are simply equal to the volts that we're supplying times the current that they're being supplied at. If I look at the back of my Nifty Case power supply, it says 15 volts at 2400 milliamps or 2.4 amps. Remember, we're working in volts, watts, and amps, so we want to convert that milliamps number to amps by multiplying by 1000. And the result is 36 watts. Now that's on paper. And our Halo Bolt battery pack can provide about 58.83 watt hours according to the manufacturer. And supposedly its 110 inverter outlet works at about 80% efficiency. So we can multiply 58.83 watts by 80% to get about 47 watts total, and then we can divide 47 watts by 36 watts of power consumption by our nifty case to get about 1.3, or 78 minutes. This means that on an ideal day, in ideal circumstances, our nifty case will last about 1.3 hours, or 78 minutes, being powered by the Halo Bolt. Now, other factors can come into play, but on paper, we know that we'll get at least an hour out of it. Now, there are two places where we're losing efficiency. One is on the battery itself. We're stepping the voltage up to an AC 110 signal, like what comes out of your wall. And then when we plug in the wall wart for the nifty case, we're stepping that back down to 15 volts DC. So we're losing efficiency when we step all the way up and then all the way back down. If you really wanted to get the most out of a battery, you could select a battery with a DC output and then build a custom little voltage regulator slash step up transformer to get that DC voltage from the battery to the correct DC voltage for your Eurorack or your synthesizer. And you know, you could have perfect efficiency going on. As it is right now, even with the efficiency loss over an hour of playtime is enough to get some pretty awesome videos. If we wanted something a little beefier that would last longer with more synths, we could look at something like the Goal Zero Yeti X200, 
which is capable of delivering a whopping 187 watt hours. With that much power, you could run half a dozen synths for over an hour and still have watts to spare. If you went one step further and combined it with, say, a solar panel, you could truly go off the grid. And maybe I will in a future video. Have you taken the plunge into battery-powered Eurorack yourself? Did you notice an error in my math? Or did this video inspire you to build a mobile Eurorack system? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.